Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Junie. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to go over this bag that I bought about a year ago and I bought this bag with contents in it for under $47 and I do have a video on that along with a receipt. So here's the bag a year later. As you can see we've used it. There's some stains on it. Um, it's holding up pretty good so no complaints. So let's go ahead and check out and see what's in the bag. Let's open the top. Now this bag comes with two containers and these are the containers it came with. This is a yum basket that I purchased to put in here. And it's just a variety, a variety of uh, Senko type um, baits or stick baits. And then they have some worms and lizards and finesse stuff. So that way you can kind of just get it all in one. And plus it comes with a tackle box. So if you're new to fishing, that's important. That way you have a place to store this. Um, so let's go over what's in the tackle bag. So when I purchased this bag, this is what I got for terminal tackle. And this is phenomenal. I love this bass rigging kit. If you see this in your store, go ahead and pick one up. Um, I purchased mine for under $10. They were like $9.98. I believe right now they're about $11 to $12, but it's still a great deal, even if you get it at that. Uh, these same ones go at Bass Pro for $19. So it's a good savings, and it works. So let me show you what that looks like. So I took the tray, and I just went ahead and put that stuff in the, the box. And uh, it's worked out great for us. Because you got your drop shot weights, you even get drop shot hooks, you get sink, um, bobber stops, you get worm hooks, or worm weights, I guess, and um, off shank worm hooks. You get your extra wide gaps, wide gaps, and they go up to five odds, so that's pretty nice. And you get weighted hooks as well. I mean, that's a really good deal. So once you buy your Yum Bass kit, which is, you know, about $10, now I think it goes for about $13, just shy of $13. Um, and then if you get the, the tackle, I mean, right there, those two things, you can pretty much fish for anything you want. But what I did is I went and purchased some of these Ozark Trail things. And uh, we got some of these like square bill kind of things. As you can see, we've fished them a lot. And they've held up. I mean, the paint job's sticking on there. This right here is, uh, I think that's grass or something stuck to it. But, you know, they've worked. They've held up. And uh, they, they run fine. I don't have any problems with them. Uh, here's the frogs. Um, I did lose one of the frogs. So I only got two left now. So in this place, I went ahead and put some of these cotton cordell uh, stick baits that we had. Um, you know, I just threw those in there. That was not part of the original purchase, but I threw those in there last year. And um, Ozark Trail Popper. Um, all, a lot of their stuff is like $2 and under. And then this is one of those Cotton Cordell um, um, lipless baits. So, And then I went ahead and got a few of the spinners. I think the spinners are very nice. Um, a lot of people like kind of skip over spinners. But uh, they were only a dollar a piece, so I just got those. Those are Ozark Trail as well. I went ahead and added in some micro bait stuff in here um, along with the stick baits because we like to fish those so and I didn't see a reason to repurchase those when we already had them. So that's pretty much what's in the bag um, along with uh, our gloves and a fishing rod holder down there and then I bought some of these cream uh, baits here. We didn't really use these too much we mostly just focused on the you know, basket. But these are kind of some jerk bait stuff. So let's go ahead and shut that. On the side over here is just some suntan lotion, bug spray, some aspirins, band-aids. Um, just in case, you know, you're getting sunburned or bugs are eating you up, you have that. And I keep a rag on the side in this little pouch. And then over here, um, this is one of the Eagle Claw kits that you can get for... Um, panfish it has a variety of hooks swivels and snaps and then just weights and then i added in some bobbers into here as well but that's my panfish so just in case i want to do some panfish fishing when i'm out bass fishing sometimes you know bass aren't hitting and the panfish are and sometimes the you go for panfish and it's the bass that are hitting so you just have to kind of figure out what it is you want 
And um, another thing that I added to this bag is this clipper here, this boomerang clipper. So on here, I went ahead and added that because the kids lose the clippers that I put in here all the time, that and the scissors. All right, here's a white uh, river um, clip-on thing. This is more for like uh, trout fishing, fly fishing type stuff, but I had an extra one, so I just put it on there. You never know, we might be able to use it. So in the front here, I've got a fish scale. And then not only that, it also has a uh, measuring tape on there too. So you can keep everything legal. You know, it's very important that you do that. I keep um, hemostats in here along with a plier and then an extra clipper and a um, Swiss army knife. So you just never know. Normally I keep a, um, like a big lighter in there. I don't have one in here, so that's something I'm gonna have to add in. So that's something that we will definitely put back in here. And um, so let's go ahead and put this back. So, you know, for $47 and then adding a few things here and there, you can really make yourself a complete bass bag. So what I'm gonna add to this this year are these baits. Now you don't have to be expensive. I'm a foster mom, so I get kids, they come and go in my household all the time. So sometimes, you know, they may wanna take one of these fishing tackle bags home with them and I let them, I let them build it out the way they like it. But you know, we don't buy the most expensive stuff because a lot of the kids have never um, been fishing. Some of them have never been out in front of their computer or game system. So, you know, you don't know like what their skill level is or if what they want to learn or not want to learn. So, um, so here's some of these baits, but I think we should add to it this year. So hopefully you can see all this. Uh, there you go. Okay. So what I'm adding to it this year are some of these dollar spinner baits from Walmart. And I just picked up two, a black and a white. Nothing too expensive, nothing out of the ordinary. If you lose them, it's not a big deal, they're a dollar. The same with these buzz baits. I got a black and a white. Um, and I will get some trailers. You can use the flukes that we have as trailers on there as well. And um, if they want different trailers, we can add that in. Right here are some jigs. These always work really good. Um, and then you just put a trailer on the back, but you know, just having some nice little jigs, green pumpkin, peanut butter jelly. That's what I like. That's what I'm putting in there. Um, I decided to go with a popper frog this year and all these baits are $2 and under, They're like $1.97. So I'm gonna add this popper frog. I'm gonna add this like jerk bait. I've got two of those. Two different colors, you just never know what's gonna hit on the day that you're fishing. And then two of these lipless crankbaits. Um, just a small and a large one, or small, large. And then this one I just thought was cool, and I'm just gonna put this in there because I just think everybody in the family is gonna love this. It's kinda like a copy of a thin fin. I don't know if you have ever fished with a thin fin, but if you have, then this is very similar to it. This is a cotton cordell one, and um, this was $3. So I figured, why not? So we're gonna add all this stuff into that bag. And uh, that's the good thing about tackle. If you are smart about how you put your tackle together and the items that you buy, you can build a very nice tackle bag very easily on a budget. You're not going into debt. And uh, people are gonna come by and when they walk by your, your tackle, they're gonna be like, wow, I got some nice tackle in there. They're not gonna mind so much that you're using Ozark Trail. Because let me tell you this, if you're going to go out and fish and you're new and you're fishing around stumps or in the grass or your line breaks, if you lose a $2 bait, you're not going to be hurting for it as if you had a $12 crankbait. You know, you're going to be like kind of mad at yourself that you lost it. So that's why I always tell everybody, you know, just start with some simple stuff. See if you like fishing with these things. Because if you don't know, you don't want to spend your money on it. Because, you know, some areas, you may not live in an area where you can fish everything. So think about that. Some areas may just be total weeds and stuff and things like this will get caught up in there. So you may not buy these, you know, these uh, hard baits. You may stick with like the 
these weedless jigs and spinner baits and um, chatter baits. Oh yeah, I need to add a chatter bait in here. That's what we need to put in there. I got my chatter baits out too. This is how I store my chatter baits. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a chatter bait in there. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, this is not my chatter bait. This is my uh, jigs. Okay, I don't have a chatter bait, so I'm gonna have to go get a chatter bait to put in here. And uh, I think that should do. I think just adding this few stuff with the stuff we already have. I think it's gonna just make it more of a complete bag. If you could, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'd appreciate it. This is Junie, and I appreciate you all. Thank you, and have a good evening.